Boy, I don't know. Oh! Ooh. Cheese and rice, my guy. What are you Calm doing? down. What are you doing right for the Are door, you that bro? excited for the challenge? Yeah, because I'm going to whoop your butt again. Hold up. Got our George's calzone right here. Oh, oh my. Poppy. Wow. Not going to lie, that looks pretty Pop dang up. good. I got a gyro and you got a calzone. Yeah. Okay. That's like our pre-game meal. Yeah. We're going to be doing a 1v1 challenge today. It's going to be plastic versus live bait. I'm going to be using plastics. John's going to be using live bait because, you know, I mean, he's the one of the last two challenges. And he kind of needs, like, the upper, you know, hand because he... I'm oh. cheeks. I, you don't have to sugarcoat it, Sam. I'm okay, cheeks. Okay, okay. He's cheeks, all right? So, yeah, we're doing a 1v1 challenge. But before we get today's video started, I just want to say, if you guys want to check out the new lid by Ducks Waterfowl, I will leave a link down in the description below. This is my fishing hat, my hunting hat. It's a killing fish slaying machine. I'll leave a link down below. Thanks to Ducks for helping sponsor today's video. So, today's challenge, we're doing the 1v1, like Sam said. I'm getting live bait because I'm cheeks and I need all the advantages. And Sam's using artificial Guggen Bait Saucy Swimmers. We're going to see which one does better because there's a lot of people that say oh live baits the fire juice other people are like nah man plastics are good too so we're gonna put them into the challenge today and see which one does better so sam point system that we're doing today we're going to different places a walleye under 20 inches is one point and a walleye above 20 inches is three points bass because you're going with us bass yeah we'll give you like half a point and like same for me if i catch a white bass or a largemouth bass pike half or... a point minus one for a pike minus one for a pike and minus one for carp I feel like I'm definitely gonna catch those. I'm nervous now. So we're gonna get our pregame meals in us and then we're heading out to the lakes. So you guys stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Alrighty guys, we're here at the spot and uh, I got the boys with some Blake and Chase. I don't know if you remember them from duck hunting season or not, but they're here. Anyway, I'm gonna get tied on. Like I said, I'm using our officials. John is using live bait, so we're gonna see how this goes. But I'm gonna get the GoPro strapped on. Hopefully the audio isn't too bad because of the wind, but I'm gonna get it strapped on and show you guys what I'm using. Alrighty guys, we got our saucy swimmer from Guggen Baits right here. And 3.3 uh, inch size, we're just gonna Hook her right through here. We are using a quarter ounce jig head. I'm just gonna hook her. There we go. Boom. As you guys can tell, it's a blue, green, and white on the bottom of it. Let's go for the sniff test. Oh wow, this looks good. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, on today's dinner unboxing, oh my goodness, wow, look at that gyro boys, that thing looks absolutely scrumptious, can you guys see it better now, that's looking fire dude, drop a comment down below and let me know whose food looked better, mine or Sam's, maybe I'll be able to beat Sam in something, some category, because I can't beat the kid in gosh darn anything, but we made it to today's fishing location, and it's about, eh, probably around like 6 30 ish or so bite probably won't happen until about 8 45 so you know your boys early as usual i like to get here a little early i'm just gonna kick back relax for a little bit eat my euro and then i'm gonna go down there and fish closer to probably around eight ish or so i am a little bit nervous about this challenge though because the place that sam's going there is a lot of bass there and we said that a bass is half a point if sam just starts absolutely murking bass right now like i'm i'm screwed man absolutely screwed he can literally catch bass from now until night and then catch walleyes like i don't have that opportunity right here so that makes me a little bit nervous but hopefully your boy can get it done today all right boys we made it to the spot here i am using live bait sam is using the artificial i think i have the upper hand here for once which is nice I'm just gonna take them put it right through the dome ski just like that that's our choice of bait today pink jig head quarter ounce i didn't bring all my tackle with I literally brought one extra jig head, so hopefully I don't break off or anything like that. We're gonna sneak on down here like a sneaky little slithery snack. Making the first cast of the night. Oh wow, we are not casting very far today, boys. That's that's always what you want to see here. Just gonna do a slow reel on the bottom. That's all we're gonna do. Just chuck and wind slow off the bottom. You just want to just tick in the bottom, just like that. There we go. 
Feels like a pike. Sadly. Very sadly, no. Yeah, it's gotta be. No, it's a walleye. That's a walleye. Not a bad one. That yeah, base, nah. 19, 20, yeah, somewhere around there. Well, there we go, boys. That is not a bad one at all. Probably over. Let's just say that. So there's three points for me. No idea what John is at, but John can suck a big lefty. Well, we're going to get a release. Ho, 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 ho. Right at shore. All right, check this out. They're literally sitting like right... They're sitting like right here, like literally six feet off of the shore here. Look, there he is right there. There's the first fish of the night. Okay, about time. This feels walleye-ish. This could be my first point of the night here. Come on, boys. Actually, this is feeling like a eater right here, boys. Oh, God, yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah. Little, little eater. I don't know. Ah, see, I don't know. Yeah, that's that's probably close to 14, honestly. We're going to put them in the bucket for right now. If we catch a bigger ones, we can let them go. But first eater of the night, that's one point for me. Sam, hopefully, he's just not catching fish at all. I done figured these fish out. I was casting too far. I think that was my problem. I was thinking for some reason they are way out there and I was casting bombs, but check this out. I think if I just cast right, like right there and then work it really aggressively with some jerks. It's good. Oh, I, had, I just had another one right there. All right. All right, so these fish are not sitting very far out. That's the ish. Oh god, a terrible throw. Still catch a fish right there, probably. Look, right there. What did I say? Dude, this is clockwork. Oh god, yeah. Skeen them in, boys. You love to see it. Ah. I mean, actually, that's... Okay, that's not that bad either. Okay, there's another one. We're gonna put them in the bucket just for right now. We can let them go later if I don't like them. If I catch bigger ones. But those are perfect eaters. Those are like 14s. All about it. All about it. What? Yeah. I just wish they had a little more size to them. There we go. What's up with all these tiny ones tonight, dude? Golly. Alright. Well, there's a point for me, boys. There would be four points total. It's a little gupper. Must have. There we go. It's a bass, dude. It is? What is a bass doing at this point? Oh, yeah. There's a green girl right there, boys. There's half a point, so back he goes. did it again oh he got me god okay so here's a little tip i'm gonna see if it works here i'm getting like just nipped and like they're taking the tails so i'm gonna do it like ice fishing i'm just gonna get a little hookage through the head there and i'm gonna pinch him off pinch off that tail and see if this works i don't know if it's going to work but it might i don't know this is just a hunch i just downsized my my bait pretty much and i'm thinking maybe my hookup ratios will be a little bit better and what did i just say Caught a fish, first cast, doing exactly what I just had to do. Wow. It's like I know what I'm talking about or something like that. Tiny little bird right here. All right, what is that? Three points for me? Cheese and rice, dude. Look at that. Just a little baby bird. Let him go. That's three points for me, though. On the little ice fishing tip right there. That's nuts. If you're getting bit a bunch, but you're not getting a lot of hookup ratios, just downsize your bait, my friends, and you'll catch some big ones. There we go. Double up, baby. Get over here. Get over here. Let me see that. Yes, sir. Chase and I just doubled up. Here's my little guy. Let him go. But Chase literally just put on the good old saucy swimmer, as you guys can see in there. And look at that. When people say bass baits aren't for walleyes. Hashtag you guys clowning. Literally the only bait that's catching fish tonight. 
Had a baby cheese. There we go. That's a better one. This is the one size of yesterday, maybe. Feels good. This is an over for sure. Over 100%. No, just choker. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Do you guys see that? That thing is in hell. There's a good one. She is going to go back in the water. She is probably 19, 18. She's going to get back in. Shoo! Same fish has got me like three times. Here we go. This is happening right here. There. Oh my god, dude. Tiny. Oh, that's that's a point though. Oh god, yeah, look at that. That's a point. Yes, sir. They're still biting. The half minnow. That's what's doing her dirty. Oh god, it's been a hot second since I've caught one, boys. This definitely feels like my third keeper though. Like I said, it's taken me a while to catch a fish. That one I was just swimming in. Straight swimming in, full min Oh yeah, best one of the night right here. There we go, come on baby. Come to daddy. Oh, that is definitely the best one of the night right there. That one's probably gonna go 15 and a half, 16. Add her to the bucket. One more for my limit, boys. Oh, there we go, boys. God, he's like a 10 incher dang it there's another one i was hoping he'd be my last one but i don't think we're keeping that one <laughs> see there guy don't worry about it sweetheart i'm kidding now still reeling with hops just looking for that reaction bite just like that Ooh, that's a big one Told you, you just look for the reaction bites, bro. Uh, yep, that's a good one. I'll take that. Yep, size from yesterday. I can't grab it. That's what I'm talking about. Looky there, boys. There's an over. That's a nice, healthy, chunky fish right there. That is what I'm talking about. On the saucy swimmer, unhooked. There we go. All right, here goes Big Bertha. Look at that chunky fish. Well, I lost track at what points I'm at, boys, but we're gonna get back out there. Here we go. That's a good one. Well, it's not. Is it really? No, it's, oh, yeah, it is. It is? Yeah, one of the rat nests. What are you doing up here so late in the night, buddy? Sleeping? Something like that? I don't know. But you're pretty cool looking. You're half a point for me. Go to a bucket mouth. What up, Poppy? How did you do yesterday? Uh, I did all right. I think I put up a decent fight against you. Um, Dude, no, you actually won. Oh, I won? Oh, yeah. Did you finalize the count? Well, yeah, I took a brief look, and I know you won, though. Yeah, I think I caught, like, six fish, and your overs, your the overs, overs killed me. Yeah. That absolutely killed me, and then those two bass the two really bass did help too. you, too. But, yeah, no, if it wasn't for That's the overs, cool. I would have won, I think. You got lucky. I was fishing for the big girls, though. You were. You were. Sam, if you guys haven't noticed, Sam's a big, like, going after the trophy walleyes this spring, and I'm kind of more like, harvest, harvest, baby. Harvest season, baby. Oh, all about the harvesting, oh, man. Yeah. All about it. I lost again. What's new? Will you take it easy on me for once? Sam is 4-0 against me. It's I had live bait too. Oh, just 
I am not happy about this whatsoever. I'm sad. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys want to see us do another challenge video where hopefully I win, drop a comment down below and give us some ideas. We're kind of running a little bit dry and we need your guys' help to choose our next challenge. Also, make sure to go check out that Ducks Waterfall hat. That thing is absolutely sick. Duck hunting is just around the corner. We got a few more months, around guys. Around the corner? Well, oh, that no. I, I was explaining to them that it comes a lot faster than you expect it. Like, oh, you just man. like sleep on it and then one day you're going to wake up and be like, Oh, it's duck yeah, it's duck season. So go cop hat. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>